So it's 3rd of October on the day that I'm uploading this because I'm recording this on October 2nd and it's like 10 o'clock <laughs> so I have to edit this video as soon as possible to upload it but I will upload it I just packed my lips well anyways it's finally spooky season i've been waiting for this since the 31st of october of last year it's ruined because of covid did you see that trump has covid the irony and the audacity please so i didn't have any more ideas so i decided to share this story that happened in my house in this house specifically in this room specifically <laughs> this is so scary anyways so a little bit of context i have always been scared of the dark since i was a little girl why i don't know i think i was just a little oh by the way i'm dressed as a cat I thought it would come out better, but it's whatever. It still gets the idea, you know? Anyway, so since I was a little girl, I was very scared of the dark. I'm still kind of, but for example, I've always been scared of demons and monsters, zombies. I'm still very scared of zombies. I really do not like zombie games or zombie movies. Other than Red is Resident Evil, I really like that game. I like watching others play that because if I play that, I will die. <laughs> I've always had to sleep with a light on and I still live sleep with a light on and with the TV on I have to put it so that it turns off because I'm still a little and I also I sleep hugged with a bear this bear has been with me since I think since I was seven years old I'm not sure maybe probably a little bit later or a little bit earlier but I have been sleeping with this bear for a long time and you can see that it's all like old but I still love it <laughs> so there was this time starting with the story time that I invited three of my friends to a sleepover so I'm going to call them Martha, Fan and Amanda so Martha, Fan and Amanda the first letter of each name is actually the first letter letter of my friend's name so I don't forget because I have Doris memory anyways so the thing is that my friend Martha was so sleepy I do not remember what time it was we were like 12 13 I think it was 2016 the thing is that I had this bed and another bed a cushion down in the in the floor so like there we had like like another thingy and she was there sleeping she was asleep she was knocked out so my friend fan wanted to see a movie but specifically edward scissor hands and i was so scared of edward scissor hands okay i was so scared the thing is that my other friend amanda wanted to see a scary movie like for example the conjuring or something like that because she loves this kind of stuff and i was like i don't <laughs> I do not want to see that and they were my guests so obviously I was like okay maybe not The Conjuring but let's watch Edward Scissorhands and they had to convince me through a lot and lots of time I was not willingly trying to see that movie oh my god okay the thing is that I think we were finishing the movie or something like that oh my god I get chills I get chills this is horrible okay it's, it's in my same house it's Okay, the thing is that we were finishing the movie and I started hearing sounds and I was like that may be the movie because I was even though Edward Scissorhands not a scary movie I was still scared, okay? <laughs> so I thought that it was the movie because I think it was a part that I don't know that they were doing some harm to Edward Scissorhands I really do not remember 
anything of the movie I blocked that of my mind like erased like bye so I started hearing these noises for like 10 minutes and I was like why is the movie making those noises for like 10 minutes straight and obviously different actions and events have passed through those 10 minutes you know the same sounds and music was playing it was like I think it was a guitar and a child it was one girl I think it was a girl it was a girl singing and a guitar or or an ukulele I do not remember actually the thing is that I decided to pause I don't I don't remember if it was me or a fan that decided to pause the movie so I turned to my friend fan and I was like have you been hearing those noises and she was like yes I thought it was from the movie but she had watched it before so if she thought that it was the movie I was like oh okay but the thing is that when we pause the movie the sound continued. Ugh, I hate this. Then we turned to our friend Amanda. So I remember it was. Uh, so here was the stairs. Here's the stairs. Here is the TV. And then here is the sofa. So the sofa is like this. Like this. So I was here. My friend Fan was here. And Amanda was here. So I turned to, um, to Fan. I talked to her. She turned to me. We talked. And then we both turned towards Amanda, which was here. And we said, did you hear those noses? And she was like, I hear them now, but I didn't hear them before. So we were like, what is happening? The thing is that we went silent, like dead silent on the dark, just with the movie on. And then we realized that the sounds came from downstairs on, the, on my dad's studio. I'm like so scared, like for real, I'm so scared. I think that the, not, the noises were coming from my dad's studio where he works and uh, my mom moved. Where my dad works and where we, where the gym is, you know? So we were like panicked and I came running to my parents' uh, room, which again, here's the TV, here's the, the sofa, and my parents' room were here. So I jumped out of the sofa, came to the room, and I was like, mom, <laughs> can you go check downstairs? We're hearing some noises. She was like, are you for real? She was sleepy. She was like on the fifth dream. Like, so she was like, yeah, fine, whatever. So she came out of her room, went down the stairs, and when she was going down the stairs, that sound stopped. Like if nothing had happened. So we were like, okay. And then my mom came back up and she was like, I did not see nothing. Like the lights were off, like nothing had happened. So we were like, okay, maybe hallucinations or like we were too sleepy or I don't know. The thing is that she went back to sleep and we put the movie again. And the sound started again. We were at that at that point we were petrified. We were so petrified we wouldn't move of the sofa. I think it we were there like 15 to 20 minutes. The three of us petrified. And then was I was like, or fan was like, you know what? We should go to Christina's room, to my room. And then we all were we all went like yes. And then we turned off the TV so so fast we ran to my room so we came through this door running my friend Martha jumped out of the <laughs> of the bed she had I think she she had a headache obviously because we woke her up while she was sleeping and she obviously got scared so we were like oh my god Martha this should happen like you're such a See, you want to sleep and you didn't see this and now we we're just three people that saw this and we needed you to see and the thing is that we did not come out of my room through all of that night i think because all of that stress and adrenaline we had we obviously stayed up for a while and then we went to sleep and like nothing happened then the next day we told our mom that that had happened and my mom did not remember like nothing she did not remember that she went downstairs that i woke her up that uh that girl singing and playing the guitar anything she did not remember she did not remember anything and obviously looking at it right now it may be that she was just too tired so she didn't 
father actually to like wake up to remember um obviously because it was like a children thing you know that we're hearing noises she was obviously like maybe they're playing maybe they're hallucinating they're children okay and actually children are children and pets and animals are more susceptible to all of this kind of stuff because obviously they do not know and paranormal stuff obviously manifests more to creatures and people that aren't really aware of what they are if i'm making sense there's also a theory about the imaginary friends that there also may be some kind of paranormal thing. I do not know. I have never had an imaginary friend or not that I remember of. So that was the story. It was scary. I know. At least it was scary for me. I remember it to this day and it happened like five years ago. Four years ago. Oh my god, math. Four years ago or something like that. And just horrible and I'm petrified till now. And I cannot watch uh, the movie Edward Scissorhands because of that because I get flashbacks and so well thank you all so much for watching all my social medias are down below if please like comment and subscribe to my channel all my social medias are going to be down below in the description if you text me I'll text you back because I'm that kind of comment down below any more Halloween spooky season ideas that I could do I post every Saturday at what time I don't know at the time that the video is up and yeah take care and please put on your mask so you don't get COVID peace